Hi everyone. Um, I hope you are having a good weekend. Um, I'm filming uh, this video today on Saturday, which is the 28th of January. Um, I have gone to um, the pottery supply uh, to pick up my uh, pieces. They have just been, um, they've just come out of them, the kiln. Um, so the, I've got uh, 12 mugs and one vase. Uh, so I am excited and nervous, so I haven't seen them yet. I'm gonna actually open the boxes now here in front of you so you can see them with me. So as I said before, this could be a nasty surprise or it could be a pleasant surprise because we know, uh, although I did lots of test tiles, as you can see, my table is full of test tiles. Um, it's usually still not, uh, it's hard to predict what's gonna come out. Okay, so. Let's start with the first box. Oh I might turn the camera a little bit so you can see with me. Okay. Oh my God, oh my God, wish, wish me luck, wish me luck, okay. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's have a look. Oh, I know which one that is. These are the four um, mugs that I made for Valentine's Day. Okay. Uh, oh no, no, that's actually the sweater mug that's coming up. Okay, oh, not bad at all. What do you guys think? So cute, isn't it? Yeah, I'm happy with it. Uh, so this one has uh, three coats of um, uh, Amico downpour and um, the buttons has um, just iron oxide and then sponged off and then I added um, just a little bit of clear uh, from a, um, a company called Walker. Little chip here but that's fine. Um, I can sand it off. I guess that's the first one. Not happy with it. Uh, the second one which ooh. Okay, we'll leave that here for now. A sneaky peeky. Okay. Oh my god, I'm not happy with one of them. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's show you this one. So this is for Valentine's Day, and this one has a quote. It says on it, "If you live to be a hundred, I want to live to be a hundred minus one day." Uh, so I never have to live without you. So this one um, has, yeah, you can see the quotes on it and you've got some hearts in there and you can also see the um, Eiffel Tower uh, stamp in there. Uh, oh, and I left, I, le I, le I left the bottom to be red for Valentine's Day. So it says Valent happy valentines and just my name um so yeah so this is uh has uh three coats of um three coats of uh uh rainforest from amico mm -hmm. okay so now this one okay this one is the same, uh, same quote, uh, but the glaze is slightly different. So I put the red under glaze in here. Uh, it was a little bit diluted. I hope the camera is showing the right color. Um, yeah. Hmm. Okay. And uh, um, it, the rest of it, it has um, um, iron oxide sponged off. Okay, not bad. I will be taking individual um, pictures to each mug, but this is just to show you like uh, what comes out from the kiln. Um, this one, yeah. So that's the other, um, so cute. It's the other um, sweater mug. And it has uh, three coats of rainforest and then it's got the buttons as well. Um, rainforest from Amaco. Happy with that as well. That I think that looks really good. Um, now I'm feeling that I'm going to be a little bit disappointed with some of those. Mm, it's not bad. 
but the black is too shiny. I don't like it when the black is too shiny. Um, this is another mug that says, I love you. And I mean, it's not bad. I just think the, yeah, I don't like it when the black is too shiny. And then from the bottom, it just has the stamping technique. I hope you can see that. It's not bad. So it's got like a black um, under glaze. And then on those uh, stencil works, it's got um, pink um, under glaze and then um, just clear on the top. I think I did put one coat of clear, but it's still, it's very shiny. It goes like an inky color. And I hope this one is good because I spend so much time on it. Uh, not bad. Yeah. I think um, I'm liking the blue, but the black is maybe not a nice combination. Like, I don't mind. The blue, it goes with the blue here. The pink, somehow it goes with the pink there. And it's pink from inside. But the black is a little bit too brassy, I think. Like too much. So maybe next time, I'll do blue all together. Just concentrate on blue and pink and not do black. I mean, it's nice. The more I look at it, the more I like it. I don't know if anyone has that. Like the more you look at the piece, the more you like it. But when I first took it out of the box, I wasn't very happy. It's just that black, it gets too shiny. I don't know why. Although I think I put only one coat. But the, this is um, um, culprit oxide sponged off and then just one coat of clear. Hmm. Okay, so that's the first box. I keep looking at it because that was my favorite and I spent so much time on it. Yeah, I think this the black, even with this one, the black is a bit too much. Um, what we've got here oh yeah that's another one a third one um, of uh, the same quote um, Valentine's Day quote this one has three coats of um, uh, Amico downpour and my favorite is yet to come um, mm -hmm. I think it's this one yeah oh Oh, yeah. yeah, it's still okay. A bit disappointed. It's going a little bit purpley. And the, um, there was supposed to be more of the um, Colbert Oxide on here as well. I think it's okay. Again, I need to look at it more, but I expected it to be nicer than that. And just happy Valentine. Because um, this one was supposed to look like this. I like the test style better. I don't like that too much white in here. I think it's because I added, um, I added lots of, um, um, wax resist so it resisted um, must have resisted the uh, culprit oxide and it's going a little bit purple here I'm not sure why I followed exactly the same thing slightly different I think it's still okay a bit 
patchy, I think. Um, yeah, see? That's what the kiln does. You can't trust it. Okay, I've got three mugs. Has the same combination of glazes. From inside, I have um, oatmeal and um, ancient jasper. Uh, from outside, in the, on this stand, I have uh, lavender uh, from Amico Celadon. And in here, um, on this stand, I have the um, uh, black sponged off uh, from a company called Clayworks. And then the rest has iron oxide sponged off. Actually, I, I'm, I'm, I expected this to get messy, not the other one. Um, and just like that same stamp from underneath. It's funny, isn't that funny? <laughs> um, kiln doesn't forgive, doesn't, it, the kiln doesn't forgive. You have to keep testing and trying. It's interesting. Um, okay, so this is another one. Yeah, I actually thought these ones were, were gonna go um, messy and I wasn't gonna be happy with the result, but I'm actually happy with the result. I like how it's running as well here. So that's the same combination. I do like this one. And the third one I made, um, uh, in particular for a friend of mine. It, it was her, it's her birthday coming up. Um, so it's the same, but I added um, her name to it. So it says, Happy Birthday, Sonia. And also it says in Arabic. I reckon she will be pleased with this one. It's a gift. Her birthday's coming up. Another Pisces, like me. <laughs> Poor Pisces. Um, okay, I don't mind it. Um, now, oh my God. Now, I, this black, honestly, the black is just too brassy. I've got red inside. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't think I'm happy with this one either. Someone might like it, but I feel, yeah. Maybe I have to go really light with the black. That's this one. And I think the last thing I've got is the base. I've got this test tile. It has a new glaze that's similar to a mug that I made with a tissue transfer, um, but it's got a different clear on it that doesn't have zinc. So I feel the, re the result is almost the same as the other ones. Um, now the vase. This vase I made, it was a request. It was a slab hand building Oh my god, I like it! See, this combination is good. This is a really good combination. It's like this, it's got um, um, the lavender on those small stands. It's got the black from clay work sponged off on the bigger stands and then um, iron oxide sponged off. So that's basically um, following this test style yeah. so, and just from just black under glaze so I don't know what to do with this black under glaze I think I have to dilute it with water it gets really dark and brassy um, but yeah I'm happy with this one and I what did I put inside? I think I just put clear. I reckon um, the lady will be happy with this one. Um, yeah. So, okay, so the ones that I'm not happy with, 
a bit disappointed with are um, this one turns out okay, similar to um, this one here. So it's not bad. Um, I'm not happy with this one. That should have been more blue in here, and I'm not sure why the blue just went different color. Um, I mean, if it had been, yeah, I sponged off too much here. And so I will, I'm gonna keep working on this one because I need it to get to, um, to this result here. And I think the, the red here is um, too thick and it's lighter there. This should have been like this, I don't know why. Um, again, I'm disappointed with this one and it's simply because I think it's too much. I feel this should have been blue and then it will be good, it will be perfect. Um, see the blue, uh, the uh, iron oxide, uh, cobalt oxide is fine here, still not the same color, slightly different. Someone might be happy, I don't know, I don't like how shiny it is. Um, and also this one, it's just, it's, it's too shiny, too shiny. The black is too shiny. It's okay, I think. I think Celadon is just a friendly color. Celadon from Amaco is very friendly. I never go wrong. It's very subtle, it's very friendly. It doesn't go too brassy. Um, same with these two. These are good. Um, definitely happy with the base. And these three as well are good. All right. So thank you so much for watching and I will be posting this video after I actually start posting individual pictures because I don't want to spoil the surprise. <laughs> it would be nicer yeah, to post picture, individual pictures of each piece on my Instagram and or and Facebook and then after that I will uh, post um, this video just to show you the element of surprise that I have on my face. Anyway, please give me some feedback. If you think that these mugs are okay, uh, let me know. I'm not happy with this one. I'm gonna keep working on it and um, definitely work on this one again. Um, and with these two, just less black. I don't know how to do less black. Um, I might even just go with the um, obsidian and instead of using underglaze, um, use like a pink, uh, something pink. Um, I don't know. Um, anyway, thank you for watching and have a good one. Bye bye.